Uh, I'm Justin with IPC. I work for the manufacturer. Uh, we're going to go over our hydro cart system today and, and what makes it work. Uh, if you guys are familiar with the spotless car wash that was in the 70s, this is the same technology. We actually bought that technology, so this is patented just uh, to us. Uh, there's other units like this on the market, but because of our patent te uh, technology of our reverse osmosis membrane, uh, I'll, sh I'll tell you why we're able to go longer than the other units that are out there. So simply just hooking up the feed water from your tap water source right here. It's going to run through a series of filters, your sediment and your carbon filters. And this is going to take out the rocks, the chlorine, the salts that are in the, the, the water here naturally. Unfortunately, Phoenix has a lot of hard water. Uh, so these filters aren't going to last as long as they were would in other areas of the U.S. So after it runs through these series of filters, it gets pushed down through the motor and then forced up through this re reverse osmosis chamber. And what that does is kind of change the molecular structure of the water. And then it, the last step is going to go through this DI resin. And it's going to take out those last few microns of particles that are in that water. And then it's going to come out and you're ready to go ahead and clean your windows. Simply put, this unit is, is, is taking the water that's coming out of the tap water out of its natural state. So it's going to be hungry to get back to its natural state. So when it's on those windows cleaning, it's grabbing all the soils and minerals that are on the water and wants to get back to its natural state. So really this unit is just making that water hungry to clean. So how this unit differs from other units out on the market, we have these filters and this back filter. The other units out on the market only really just has this DI resin chamber on there. So in certain areas of the country, you're really going to get about 500 gallons of usable water before you have to go ahead and change this filter because you're having one filter try to do all the work of the rest of these filters but because we have more filters you're going to get a few thousand gallons of water running through here before you have to change out the filters on top of that to replace all three filters one two three it, it's going to be way less expensive than replacing just one of these the reverse osmosis chamber you're going to have to change this out every half a million gallons so it's going to it's going to uh, last you quite a bit so uh, with this card uh, our carts, you can have no motor on there, or you can have three different options of motor on there. Gas being one of them, which you have right here. You have battery operated, and then you also have electric. The advantages of having a motor is you are able to get above 25 feet. So say if this didn't have a motor on here, you really just have enough water pressure to get about 25 feet and below. But since you have these motors on here, you can actually extend up to five stories. On top of that, with the motors, especially the gas, you can get up to three users working at once. So as it comes off of here, you can have a series of Ys and actually have three operators using the, uh, the unit to get the job done a lot quicker. So you don't have one person doing all these windows. You can have three and, th and then you're done. If you do have that quick lock set already there, if you do have the full 55 feet, you can actually divide that up in three, just buy the extra gooseneck or the brush, and then you can use those pull sets to knock out these windows as well too. So any questions so far? So where do we put the Y? If I want to run two units, I put it right there? Well, yeah, you can have the hose come out and then wide off. Okay. And then, or you can hose off and then wide off. Right? Yeah, okay. Doesn't yeah. Matter, so yeah, you can put the Y right here okay. and then and you're ready to go. So it's up to three operators you can have uh, going at once. Uh, okay, so this unit right here, uh, this is about a half a gallon of gas, um, if that. Uh, but just this uh, small tank will get you a few, uh, many hours of run time on it. You also have your oil chamber down there. Just check that frequently to make sure, just like a car, make sure there's oils in there running. Don't don't overdo it. To start it, you're going to want to uh, click this over to on, and then you're going to choke it out with this lever right here, and you're ready to yank this right here. Once it starts running, you're going to slowly move this lever right back right here to gas, and it's going to be completely ready to go. So. Um, you want to make sure you have on. the water on. Yeah, let's make sure the water's on first. One other thing, guys, there's a PSI meter right here. And there's a gallons meter right here, so you can actually track how many gallons you're getting through your filters before they need to be replaced. I can tell you living in Phoenix and running this system quite often for a lot of customers, you're getting about 5,000 gallons of usage with these filters before they need to be replaced. So we need the TDS meter so that we can test the water right, right. to make sure that we're not going above yeah. the allowable levels. Yeah, we'll get out a TDS meter, and it, it looks like this. It's just a white device, and there's a cap at the bottom that you're going to fill up with water. If you would fill that cap up with the water coming right out of the source, I think in Phoenix, unfortunately, you guys have about like 750 parts per yeah, million, yeah. which is which is ast astronomical. Once it runs through the system on the new set of filters, like these are right now, it'll register at zero. 
the rule of thumb is when do I replace the filters is every so often you're going to want to measure the water that's coming out of the brush and once it gets to about 10 parts per million you're going to want to have a set of three on hand and then once the parts per million gets between 12 and 15 go ahead and replace them replacing the filters are very simple every kit comes with like an o-ring a white o-ring for these ones and a gray o-ring for this twist it off take out drop in the new one these ones you can put in any way this one right here it'll say flow of water put this end up so this is the only filter that actually needs to be put in one way the, these ones right here you can just drop the filters in any way you want